Hi, I'm Claire McNaughton and I'm a working mum and I don't have any income protection despite the fact that my income is critical to the financial support of my family. I've come to Trowbridge Wiltshire to the offices of Income Replacement Specialist Wiltshire Friendly Society Limited to meet working mum Barbara Lethen to try and establish why working women are not taking out income protection. Why do you think women in Western society don't prioritise themselves? I'm a mum and a wife first and working and then I'm quite far down the list as, an, as a person in my own right. So getting my kids to school, frees up the time to do the things in the house, which frees up the time for me to do my business, which then allows me to prepare for the kids to come home from school, and then my husband comes home from work. So as, an, as a person, an individual, it's very difficult to find time to fit me in. Do you think men and women are different when it comes to levels of emotional intelligence? For most women. I know it's not the same for everybody, but I think my the men in my life my husband my children are more practical and my daughter is and I definitely more emotionally charged so we act to things emotively and when things go wrong we we I think we find emotion has a big impact on how we respond to it whereas men can be a little bit um not standoffish but maybe it's not natural for them to show their emotions and maybe that's the way we feel that there's a difference. Do you think that women are more self-deprecating? It's almost like you're not allowed to say that you're good at something because people then think that you're arrogant or prideful. Um, and I suppose inside you're probably doing a little happy dance when you know something's really worked well, but you wouldn't show that. Um, well, not in front of somebody else. And then you almost feel guilty that you have. And I think we're you know, notorious for always apologising for ourselves, which is quite sad. And I'm trying desperately to bring up my daughter not to apologise for being good at something and to try and take you know, self-pride in it, but, but not to be overtly... You know, not to show, not to be a show off, I suppose, is the way, is, you know, you don't want to stuff it up somebody else's nose, but also um, to, to break the mould of feeling that you shouldn't be good at something would be, you know, for her is the way forward. Do you think that women invest themselves more in parenting? As soon as I wake up, I'm thinking of the children. My husband's already gone to work. Um, and then it's um, constant even though I have a business, I know from two o'clock onwards I'm already thinking about the kids again. I can't just stop and not forward plan. So they constantly leak into every decision that you're making during the day. And even once they've gone to bed, you're thinking of the next day. And there's all the preparation, there's all the um, things like homework doesn't stop, making sure they're well fed, they're clothed you know, checking up on them, making sure they're well. And if they're poorly, you're generally the one that they go to, you're the one up with them in the middle of the night because you know that he probably needs to go to work with a fresh head and you, you just kind of suck it up really and, and deal with it because that's what you do as a mum. Is your workload at home and your workload with work greater than your husband's? It's not a nine till five job, so and and because you don't get paid for it so it's all done with love but it's yeah there are days when you sit there and you go I'd like to get off the train set please and go and have a break from it all but the reality is if you do that then things don't get done my husband says I'm going to bed now okay and off he goes and I say right I'm going to bed now and it'll be uh, just put the washing in the dishwasher and hang any washing out and do a quick tidy up because I don't like walking downstairs to chaos, it drives me mental. And then bedtime's actually about two hours after I've said, right, I'm going to bed now. So I probably hit about midnight and then I'm surviving on six hours sleep. Why aren't women taking out income protection? Because I've never thought that I would need it. Um, 
everything feels safe and comfortable so you don't feel that there'd ever be a reason why you wouldn't be there and there's no reason why, why would you go and spend on that investment because you don't, you don't see that it's a need in your world it's life you don't put a monetary value on it I mean obviously this has been quite insightful because it, it starts to make you realize to put value on it where you wouldn't do normally you women are really good at just getting on with it and you don't sit down and value what you're bringing in and whether you're working or not but I think it's until you're made aware of that you don't see it because you're just doing day to day. So we have considered that culturally women do not prioritise themselves, that they are often self-critical and self-deprecating. If they are parents, women have a tendency to invest themselves more in their children than they do in themselves. There is an adage on an aeroplane that says that you must put the oxygen mask on yourself before the baby. So in order to look after others, you must first look after yourself. Therefore, it's important that income protection is considered as part of your financial strategy.